If you've ever used watercolors in your classroom, you probably have found that your paints end up looking like this just after a couple of uses. So I want to show you an easy way to do the watercolor effect without all this mess. And we're going to be using markers to create our watercolor palette. And this is the effect that you'll get from your watercolor markers. In your packet, um, your brochure, you'll find the pattern for this palette here. And you just want to find a marker that has a lot of ink in it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take and color in that circle and you're going to put lots and lots of ink on it. And you'll color all the different colors that you want to use in your picture. Next you'll take your picture and this is what you'll give to the children is their blank page. They'll get a little cup with some water in it. a cotton swab and depending on how many colors you're going to use will depend on how many cotton swabs you'll use because you'll need one end for each different color that you're using. They're going to dip their cotton swab into the water and then they'll pick up some color from their palette here and see how easy that just goes right on. And they can continue coloring all their different colors. Now for the water here, it's a very large area, so you need to use something a little bit bigger than just a cotton swab, and the same for the sand on the bottom. I've also created a larger palette because we're going to be using more color. So for this, we're going to use a sponge, again dipping it in the water. You'll pick up some of your color, and then you'll sponge it onto your page. And depending on how much color you pick up will depend on how dark it is. But again, watercolor is supposed to be just a light effect, so you don't want it real dark. And then you could get some brown on the other end for your sand. And that will fill in big areas. Another good thing about watercolor is that it doesn't have to be exact. Watercolor kind of goes out of the lines. And when they're finished, they'll have a picture that is worth hanging on the wall. Watercolors can also be used over crayon. The actual wax in the crayon will resist the watercolor. If you can see here, the word Jesus shows and it was because I colored in with white crayon and then watercolored over it. The easiest way to, to write anything is to go ahead and print it out first, and then if you lay your white paper over the top of it, you can see an outline of where the letters are, and this will help your letters all to look nice and neat. Take a white crayon, and you'll just follow over where the letters are on the back here. When you're completed, you'll have your letters here. Now you can't see this, and what's real fun for the little ones is that they don't notice it either, so when they're coloring over, then they'll see the letters start to appear, or if you want to put a picture on there that's very simple, then they'll see that picture or that object also appear. So we'll give the children a little bit of water, We'll give them their palette with their marker already colored in, a cotton swab, and they will dip into the water. They'll pick up some color, and as they begin to color over it, if you notice here, the letters are appearing. We can take a different color, and it resists where the actual crayon is. So as you can see there, there's the word Jesus. And when you have your finished product, you've got either a saying or a scripture or a picture.